Hi, I'm Jeff Murrow. I want to welcome you to True Texas History. Today, <clears throat> we're going to be talking about the Snively Expedition. Uh, this is an expedition that not many people have heard about, but it had uh, quite an impact uh, on Texas and the United States. Um, but uh, somehow it uh, can't find its way into the history books. Yeah, you know, before I head on into the story, you know, something I always get a kick out of are those, uh, you see them as posters and sometimes t-shirts that say Ski Texas, and it shows the Republic of Texas and the different ski areas that actually uh, were a part of Texas, uh, you know, because we went all the way up to uh, parts of Wyoming and Colorado and um, Kansas New Mexico and so forth, um, th there was quite a bit of land. And, uh, you know, some people say, no, that really didn't belong to Texas, but but it did. And, you know, a story you can tell them is the Snively Expedition. Well, the Snively Expedition, um, it just so happened that, uh, you know, this is one of the dates where something happened in the Snively Expedition. And, I uh, you know, feel like I've covered expeditions uh, all this week. But with this one, uh, the Republic of Texas launched what they call the Santa Fe Expedition, where they sent uh, soldiers and a party out west to go ahead and occupy uh, the city of Santa Fe, since it was included within the boundaries of the Republic of Texas. Now, uh, when they got uh, to Santa Fe, they were well, partly uh, ill-equipped for the journey. But when they got there, most of the people were captured and thrown into jail. The Mexican authorities did not want to accept the authority of Texas. And uh, this angered a lot of people. And uh, one of the people it angered was Jacob Snively. You know, Jacob Snively had served in the military. He had... Uh, conducted some operations, and he uh, wanted to do something in response to what happened with the Santa Fe expedition. So he petitioned the government, and um, they okayed the Snively expedition. Uh, now, this is one of those things that uh, officially the Republic of Texas was not condoning, but... Uh, whatever good Snively got on the expedition, he was supposed to split 50-50 between the Republic and his men. So, uh, that's one of those uh, kind of shady arrangements. But what the uh, Snively expedition sought to do was to head on into extreme North Texas uh, and intercept some of the wagon trains headed from the United States down to uh, Santa Fe. You know, you have the Santa Fe Trail, a lot of stuff going down it. And Texas was not getting its cut, even though the trail uh, went through a large part of Texas. So he and his expedition, a, a bunch of men that called uh, themselves the Battalion of Invincibles. I, I love some of those names, you know. Uh, it says something about the attitude uh, of the men, and there were about uh, 150, and uh, they took off from a place called Grayson up there in Fannin County, and uh, they headed on up to the Arkansas River, and uh, there they, uh, you know, found some... Uh, places where they could watch the Santa Fe Trail without being spotted, and uh, they ended up uh, ambushing a group of about a hundred Mexican soldiers. It was a big shootout, and they ended up capturing like 80-some-odd of them, uh, and um, killed a few. Uh, no losses to the Texans. They, they held them for a few days, and then they let them go. But... Uh, the expedition went ahead and uh, made connections with some of the local Indians because, you know, Snively had been an Indian agent before that, and so he had some connections. And um, 
they were waiting for a lucrative wagon train to go down the road, and they were uh, there, and I believe they got one or two, and then next thing you know, uh, U.S. Calvary, uh, under Philip St. George Cook, uh, who's considered uh, by some historians to be the father of the U.S. Calvary, I don't know. We deal with Texas history here, but uh, he led uh, a group of cavalrymen to surround Snively and his men and force them to surrender their arms and uh, insisting that they were in U.S. territory. Snively insisted, no, we are in Texas territory. Um, and um, they went, uh, the U.S. cavalry went ahead and relented and let them have 10 of their muskets as opposed to uh, all of them and uh, essentially sent them on their way. Now, this, you know, incidents like this happen out west all the time, but uh, the Republic of Texas would not let the thing lie. They wanted to be compensated for the losses the men experienced. And uh, eventually, uh, they were compensated. The United States acknowledged that uh, they had captured, uh, that they had intruded and trespassed on Republic of Texas territory. Uh, they captured the men illegally. Uh, and, and why that's important is that uh, that acknowledges that all that territory did belong to the Republic of Texas. It really was legit. I mean, when a uh, sovereign nation ends up uh, paying money like that, it is a legal acknowledgement that uh, they did something wrong. Because countries don't just shell out money for no reason. Well, they shouldn't. Um, these days I have my questions. But, um, you know, when the cavalry went ahead and went in there, I mean, they went in... Uh, because, you know, standard cavalry charge, you know, you had your uh, arm in front of you with your saber. I mean, they, they had the full sabers and everything went at a full gallop. And uh, there was a lot of commotion. Um, I, I still find it awfully ironic that the same cavalry commander found himself up against the uh, Texas Brigade at Gaines Mill. Uh, he tried to attack him and got his tail handed to him on a plate. Uh the second U.S. Cavalry uh, just didn't do squat uh, against the Texas Brigade. Uh, they stood firm, and when they started shooting uh, there at Gaines Mill, the horses started dropping and falling down the hill. It was it was a big mess. But, anyways, I, I wanted to go ahead and uh, cover the Snively expedition because. Uh, you know, even when you go online, you try to find out much about the Snively expedition. The what? Uh, but it's one of those uh, little expeditions uh, conducted by the Republic of Texas that uh, validates uh, our claim uh, to that land area. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I, I do hope to get back to the Gutierrez McGee expedition and finish that and all the intrigues. But until later, uh, I wish you well and via con Dios, my friends. Goodbye.